In this video, I want to start to talk about the spectral sequence associated to a filtration and something called an unraveled exact couple. So we'll see what that is uh, in a few minutes. But let's start with X uh, CW complex. And suppose that X has some filtration. So just to make life easy, I'm going to say that we have the empty set for all negative degrees. And then we've got x0, so it's inside x1, x2, and so on. And this could be a finite filtration or not. Just some filtration. Now, really, what I'm about to do will apply to, uh, I think, any abelian category and any object with a filtration. So if you look in Mosher and Tangora at this kind of stuff, there they do it for chain complexes. And if you look at Hatcher, you do it for spaces. I like thinking about spaces, so let's, let's stick with that. Okay, so uh, what could this filtration look like? Well, in spaces, we have sort of an obvious candidate. Could be the cellular filtration, making it, or a cellular filtration, making it a CW complex. And then our XN would just be the N skeleton. So where we attach the N cells uh, inductively to lower dimensional cell complexes. Okay, uh, but in general it could be a more complicated filtration, maybe a smaller filtration, maybe it's just one subspace including, all of those count. Now given this filtration, each inclusion, let's call it xp minus 1, sitting inside xp, well, this is a subspace, and assuming that it's a nice enough inclusion, this induces a long exact sequence in homology. Of course, we also get a long exact sequence in cohomology, but I'm going to stick with homology for now, again, so that we're closer to uh, the resources in Hatcher and Mosher and Tangora. So we get this long exact sequence, and it's going to go Hn of xp minus 1, maps to hn of xp, maps to hn of xp comma xp minus 1, that relative homology, and down to hn minus 1 of xp minus 1, and so on, and continue, of course, forever. And that's our connecting homomorphism there. And so the idea here is what we want to do is sew these all together following that idea that we saw maybe several videos ago now. Okay, so we're going to sew these all together and form what's called an unraveled exact couple. And we'll get to uh, what people just refer to as an exact couple without the unraveled soon. So if this is familiar, uh, we'll, we'll wrap it all up into a nice succinct thing later. But for now, what is an unraveled exact couple? Well, I just want to take all of these uh, sequences and sew them together. And, you know, I'm realizing I'm going to need a lot of space to do this. So let's just get a fresh page and start to draw our unraveled exact couple. So just for the ease of drawing, I'm going to start in the middle here with this relative homology, Hn of xp comma xp minus 1. And we know that there's this connecting homomorphism to Hn minus 1 of xp minus 1. And now normally I would draw to the right of that Hn minus 1 of xp, but for the visual here, I'm going to draw it below. And then do kind of this stair step thing. So we'll put the relative thing over here. Okay, and that continues. Maybe let's just put dot, dot, dot. Okay, uh, now continuing sort of backwards, I've got Hn of xp, and then I should have Hn 
of x p minus 1. But again, I'm going to continue this sort of stair step idea. So I'm going to draw that up here. And let's just say that continues. Okay, I guess I could move all of this over and have a little bit more space. Oops. Okay, so there's that long exact sequence and I've just written it in a weird stair step. Okay, but of course I have this filtration for many pieces and so Hn of xp minus one fits into a different long exact sequence. In particular, I've got this map Hn of xp minus two because xp minus two includes into xp minus one. And then I've got this map to the relative homology. And that maps down to Hn minus one of the smaller thing. And then that maps to Hn minus one of the larger thing, which was the smaller thing in the previous sequence. And so really I, I just wanna color this with both colors. So I'm doing an underline here to say that this uh, group lives both in the blue long exact sequence and also in the maroon long exact sequence, whatever color that is. And of course that continues. And we could continue backwards, continue the stair step. Let's do another layer here. So uh, HNXP also maps to Hn xp plus one. And then there's the map to the relative. And then that continues to Hn minus one of xp plus one and so on. You can see I could be writing this forever. So at some point I will stop. But the upshot here is that we have all of these long exact sequences sewn together. And that's exactly what the unraveled exact couple is. So in this unraveled exact couple, a couple things that I want you to notice is that here in this sort of vertical tower, we just have the homology of X. Well, in a sense, this uh, sort of is converging to the homology of X if our filtration converges to X and, and it's a nice uh, kind of filtration. And then we've got the same thing again here, except HN minus one of X roughly in this uh, vertical tower. And then in between those is a bunch of relative stuff and I think of that as sort of interpolating. So let's say this relative stuff interpolates and that's really the part that we're gonna be after. Um, so maybe, maybe let me not write anything there. Okay, so we've got this unraveled exact couple and then the claim is that this actually tells us about a spectral sequence so there's a spectral sequence and it'll look like we start with the E1 page and it's going to be built up from these interpolating pieces. So HP plus Q of XP comma XP plus one. Sorry, that should be a minus one. Okay, so I'm just telling you what's in the PQ spot of the E1 page. And then this should converge to HP plus Q of X. So essentially taking this filtration and looking at what will ultimately look like filtration quotients, right? This looks like the homology of XP mod XP minus one. And uh, when we look at all of those filtration quotients together, somehow we're able to cook up the homology of X, or at least an associated graded of it. So that's, that's really the hope. And uh, here, of course, we're taking N to be P plus Q, and I just wanted to sort of simplify uh, up here in this unraveled exact couple because there's already a lot of notation going on.
Okay. Maybe let me stop the video there, but uh, really, I now want to investigate this unraveled exact couple quite a bit more.